<clears throat> Speaking of respect and being cherished, I'm just watching The Simpsons in the background about the Jurassic Park Halloween. Listen to this. So, we have one, two, three, four, five... Four predators who worked at Nickelodeon around children. One of them here was a production assistant for Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights. He worked at Nickelodeon. He was convicted, trigger warning, of molesting a child at Nickelodeon. He was in the animation section, but he actually brought over a child to a studio where he um, sadly molested a child there at Nickelodeon, which is red flag Nickelodeon. Brian Peck, dialogue host for all that. Um, he did the comedy boot camp with Dan Schneider. So this is a this was or is a friend of Dan Schneider. Predator, convicted, raping a child on set. Slime, slime. Marty Weiss, child manager who would bring kids to Nickelodeon. Predator, convicted of raping a client. Jason Handy, production assistant for The Amanda Show, convicted pedophile, predator. John Keir from The Ren and Stimpy Show, he was accused of sexually abusing teenagers who uh, looked up to him as a mentor, so slime him as well. Slime time! Yeah! How many predators, Nickelodeon? Because this is enough for me personally right now. Too many! Too many! I deeply apologize for the awful audio because this is all I can do, and I uh, might as well just give out my... Um, P.O. Box, if any of you want to send, like, a letter, I'm not sure how great this channel may be doing or whatnot, or if you just, you know, like, a letter, I don't mind, right? I know, it'd just be nice to just have me more uplifting things, right? Um, I just had to share this very quick, okay? Besides with the predators and whatnot, or pedophiles on Nicolian, you see the starter card from the Love House by an episode that needs to be banned, No Such Luck? Look who it's directed by. Um, you know... Even though it's not directed towards children, but women, though, I would see him as a predator as well. Chris Savino, whom is basically the creator of the Law House, right? I'm glad that I am glad to Buddha's belly of Burma's Bangkok's cock. He got his fucking ass fired. Part of my language for swearing, but I want for my adults to actually hear about this, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the P.O. Box in the end because that's not important right now. I've gotten really, really inspired to talk about this myself as someone that basically grew up with Nickelodeon throughout his life, right? And if any of you are interested, I can make a part two besides about, you know, the gay porn stars that I have a crush on, right? Um, literally, I found those two boys really, really handsome. It's awful that they died. Um, yeah, they were only, only like 22 or so. I, I don't remember their age exactly, though, okay? But that's, the, that's not the main point here. I looked up uh, about this or I was browsing through Twitter okay just recently after I had like a really cool show like six hour live stream with um Angel Dust of course that is a great supporter on my channel even though we're talking about like trans issues that she or excuse me um he was misunderstood by I, I, I'll talk about that later okay as well I'm just gonna read this out this is posted by Drilla the Gorilla 369 on their Twitter that posted on the 25th of August on 2022, Nickelodeon actress from Zoe 101, which I have not seen, believe it or not, I'm sure my nephews and nieces have, Alex, Alexa Nicholas, who basically is the woman that you've been hearing that is exposing those darn child predators, right? Stood in front of the Nickelodeon headquarters in Burbank to expose Nickelodeon on claims of pedophilia. In this video, um, she, Dan Snyder, who um, is also the man who is behind of all the, quote, foot fetish content on Nickelodeon in the 90s and early 2000s, along with sexual abuse allegation connected to a multitude of young stars, Britney Spears' sister, I didn't know she had a sister, Jamie Lynn Spears was the star of the show. And she left due to a pregnancy, but also has allegations of abuse in connection to Dan Snyder. Oh, that's terrible. In addition to Snyder, Nicholas named Ezo Channel, the production of assistant for Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights, who was convicted of a molestation. What? At Nicholas, just so you know, I didn't read this, by the way. I just had to check the veto first, of course, or view the veto, okay? 
Um, Brian Peck, the dialogue coach for all that, he, is, he wasn't the one that says, five minutes, everyone, five minutes, right? For anyone that grew up in Nickel uh, with all that, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, right? I have a really great memory on that. You know when they play that little jam in the beginning, when you see that all that logo that would, like, fall from, you know, the top to the bottom corner or the right side, and they play that little jam music, that do 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 I can't say it, right? I'm so sorry about that. I grew up with all that. Okay, my brothers and I, we, we watched that when we were little. Okay, at least for me personally. Okay, let me continue reading. Um, Martin, Marty Reese, I can't pronounce the name. Nickelodeon's child talent manager who was convicted of raping a child on set. Jason Handy, God, there's so many of them. Production assistant for The Amanda Show was a convicted pedophile and John, which is the last man, that's basically what Alexa has um, displayed here, if, I, if I'm reading this correctly, right? Um, <clears throat> of the Win and Stimpy show was accused of sexually abusing teenagers. It's, it's terrible. And ho however, though, there's more into that, which I'll be reading in the end here. Okay? TMZ and the media reported on their one-minute interview with her, but never showed the footage. So, they also claim she was there to protest a hostile work environment, yet another example of how they controlled the narrative when we didn't have X and Rumble. I don't know what the hell Rumble is, to be honest with you. Alexa continued to expose eight more people on Nickelodeon. That's a handful, right? As of today, this is still the longest and most detailed allegation against Nickelodeon and pedophilia. So, I want to share this because... Currently, Dan Schneider is trending on Twitter along with Amanda Bynes. Oh, Buddha forbid. It's, it's, I'll just give you like a little detail because I watched it for nine seconds. It's really disturbing. It's supposed to be Dan Schneider in a jacuzzi with Amanda Bynes that is basically wearing pigtails, right? I'm not sure how old she was at that point. Along, believe it or not, um, I'm, I'm, well, James Charles was trending earlier. Not the one I'm talking about him. And then King. Charles trending with Trisha. There's a lot of stuff going on in One Piece 1111. Um, I wanted to share that as someone that wa grew up at Nickelodeon, right? I am appalled completely, okay? And this is coming. I'm just going to see this once more. That YouTuber that I know a lot of people have been supporting of, okay? It's great that stuff is turning up. However, though, I did not like how the way he's treated me. Otherwise, his fan would basically, that was a fan of the Law House himself when I mistreated me. And that clearly does support pedophilia, right? Even though he is autistic, that's no damn pass because I'm autistic myself, right? And let's just say he did some inappropriate stuff that I mentioned towards me. Okay, I just want to share that, and it's hard to do all this editing because it's it, I don't have the equipment, so please bear with me. I know I mentioned that multiple times, but this is like a really serious deal, right? I don't understand why Nickelodeon, okay, even though I'm sure the, the studio themselves, okay, it's not a fault for this. It's, it's difficult, right? Because I, I want to say this as someone that used to do reactions to the Lighthouse house and did, did drawings because I was bored and just to cope with my childhood when I was molested, okay? And you don't have to believe me. I even have it on Instagram as proof, okay? Because I did a ton of drawings of the Loud House just because I felt inspired by it. I even shared it on my Facebook about it, okay? That Nickelodeon themselves, all right? Because I might as well be involved in this. You don't have to believe me, all right? I have screenshots as proof that they like my drawings of the Loud House. I even made, like, a cute leak and loud sock and even Bunsen is a beast, right? Don't get me started on a Butch Hartman. I do not like that grown ass disgusting of a of a ghost man, whatever you want to call him, because of how he does he thinks that autistic people can be cured and I think he's homophobic as well. I can read more into that, okay? Um I'm not kidding. Nick Lyon did like my drawings. Um they liked two I think like four of my posts, I think. They commented on two of them. Okay, I still got proof. I am not deleting those. That's that is history. So I want to say I must also be involved in this as well, even though I don't have like, any actual connections, right? I just don't understand why these creators it, they just make Nickelodeon like the student themselves look awful for this. That would get away with all this, right? I want to read more about this from a subreddit that I like to view. Uh, I'm a total piece of shit which is a place to post screenshots and or gifts of people that act like a piece of shit, especially if they do crimes and whatnot. Okay, it was posted five years ago. 
by Sir, all capitalized, at ASDF23. Okay? This is John, whatever and how you pronounce his name. The creator of Stippy. He is also a pedophile and a sexual predator, right? Former co-workers have gone on record about him having pictures of naked girls between, okay, not just teens, like we're talking about under, okay, because 12 years old is not a teenage. At least that's not how I see it. Preteen is 13 and up, right? Well, preteen is 13 and then you're a teenager from 14 to 19. You mean, no, technically if you're 18 and 19, you're, you're a grown-ass adult, right, on his personal computer. I don't understand it, okay? I also grew up with Renan Stippy. And I just I just want to say for anyone that has been following me, especially the, the video about my suicide, because, yeah, I do have suicidal thoughts and being clinically depressed, okay? I'm not kidding, all right? Otherwise, I wouldn't be stopped talking about it. Also, I don't like how it's being called a bipolar locale. I do not like that. I don't, okay? Like, he doesn't understand what I've been through. I don't care if you went through a lot. So have I, okay? I have. And if you tell me to sit down, <laughs> ow, fuck. Ooh. Ow, 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 ow. Ew, or else so I, had to, I had to spit because of mucus in my throat. Stick away from my channel because this is serious to talk about this stuff, okay? I am appalled that these damn producers, right, that have higher power, that would basically would have these kids involved on set, right, that we all know behind the scenes, that they would get mistreated this way. It's so disturbing. And the reason why I want to share this, okay, is because I did have a talk with Angel on my channel that goes by Dion Nation, right? Because she, or excuse me, he wanted to set up a fan channel, which is so kind-hearted of him to do that. Or just, you know, deeply, deeply thoughtful, if I can actually just say that, right? If he's so veriness, of course, Okay. Of how, let's just say that, tr ugh, the trans thing, I know. I know that's the, ha have nothing to do with this. But let's just say, for example, Ariana Grande. Since we basically talked about her um, before because of how Angel wanted me to listen to her music or want me to check it out as a recommendation, right? I feel a lot, I, I feel e extremely awful for what Ariana Grande has went through. Not this Amanda Bynes and also of Josh Peck, okay? He just so you know, he's a man, right? Josh, right? We're talking about Josh Peck here, whom also was sexually assaulted by one of the men on set. I got to read more into this, okay? It's hard to do all this by memory because of how this dumb app that they use is really difficult to audio record, okay? I've been doing my best to do research on this. The reason why I want to bring this up, I know other people, especially Saber Spark, I think that's his name, you know, don't really watch his videos, have talked about it. And don't give me sort of Mr. Enter that does, like, cartoon reviews. I used to watch him all the time. I hope he's doing well because he did expose, like, someone that, a woman that was ta um, taking advantage of, like, underage girls, I think. I got, I, I got, like, I don't know. It's, it's a YouTube drama subreddit. The thing is that for Rob, whatever the fuck his name is, Dan Schneider, right? I'm not worried that I'm thinking about Rob Schneider for some reason. He's a great man. The one that plays as the hot chick, right? Or in the hot chicken, Home Alone 2. You look really handsome back then. Just want to be honest. Okay? Basically, if you have not noticed, if you have watched, um, I think it was the Amanda Show, or I forgot which one it was. Okay? I don't remember. It's been so long. Okay? For Ariana Grande, the art, the art was our Carly, yes. Okay? He basically would set up these lines or scripts for Ariana to basically perform in these, like, kinks, right? I know there's a difference between fetishes and kinks. Kinks is, like, role-play fetishes. is something that you get aroused. It's not sexual, I think. Or it doesn't always have to be sexual, I think. But the thing is, is that he would always wanted her to reveal her feet, like, when she was laying in bed in some of the scenes. I think it was like Carly. I don't, I don't remember. It's been a long time, okay? So please bear with me, Okay? Because the Amanda show, that's that's another story that I want to share as well. But basically for Arena, she would do some like foot play or basically splashing herself with water, which is basically what Dan has set up, which is really, really, really concerning because he gets off with that, right? Even though it has nothing to do with nudity and such, especially, except for the, the jacuzzi thing, you know, that's not nudity, it's still... 
extremely inappropriate, right? Of what Amanda Bynes, that's her name, by the way, basically the girl that was on the Amanda show, right? Has run through. It is really dark to think about this because he was the one that set this up. And also, this is share about Chris Savina, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, I just burped. Okay? Besides the creator of Random Slippy, three awful men, not including the other um, pedophiles that Alexa has exposed, right? He literally with this sexually assault of one of the co-workers inside the studio. Because this is a long time ago that I heard when I used to do reactions to Light House, okay? I'll say hobby and for fun, right? I know that's been talked about. I want to move on from that, but since it's got me interested, I might as well continue talking about it, right? He has been fired ever since. I don't know how long ago. I'm going to read into that later, though. But as someone that did grow up with Nickelodeon, it's it's awful to see this because of how you have a creator, Ren and Stimpy, that literally wanted to do child porn, Dan Schneider that wanted to um, groom Amanda Bynes in a jacuzzi, and I guess you could say manipulating um, Ariana to basically do like foot play. And I, I'm not sure if it's exactly our Crowley or and whatnot. I know I get the shows mixed up because I didn't watch that much of our Crowley growing up though. Mostly the Amanda show. Along with um, a little bit of Drake and Josh, okay? I know I could give you like a, an example, but I mostly watch a lot of cartoons like Walker's Mother Life, I was told by a ginger, or ah, real monsters, for example, and not to mention Rugrats, right? And all grown up, I watched all that growing up, okay? Literally, I I mean, I guess you could say the last four, four letters of the name is my name, if that makes sense. Hint, hint, okay? And it, it's, 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 it's awful to see how. They're finally are coming up to speak up of, of how they feel, especially on Josh's tech side. I know I heard that he did something, unless those are false rumors, right? False accusations that he basically groomed someone or something. Okay, I, I, I even I don't believe that, I think. All right, I still agree more into that. But that's basically what Josh Peck has run through as well himself, so to speak, right? I know I'm not really good at doing these talks, but it's awful that a wonderful network that I grew up, okay, of practically three decades on this earth, okay, would be this way. And also, I am going to copy and paste the link for, for y'all to see the full um, video from Drilla Gorilla's um, page if you're interested. And this one, you know, that the video of, you know what, I thought I could actually play it. That way, y'all don't have to see it because it's really, really disturbing. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, because of the audio, I, I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this. Um, uh, you know, let me just read something very quick from Twitter, okay? I hope that y'all are not bored by this. This is by Mario Emmett. That goes by App that has like a Mario Brothers and Lego profile picture. I can't look at Nickelodeon's all that the same way again because of Dan Schneider's actions. I never knew that those kids hated to do those dares on Snick's on... What? I never heard of Snick. Airdare? Air Fear Factor parody? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So, I want to explain more about all that, okay? All that is this, this great, great show that I watched when I was little. Even as, as a young adult in his early 20s, when he lived in an old townhouse, I would watch it, like, every night, right? They do these funny skits, right? You got Keenan and Kel that was on Good Burger, right? Like, welcome to Good Burger. I love the Good Burger. Can I take your order? That's what, um, I, I get the names mixed up. That's what, um, Kel would say, right? And also the girl, I forgot her name, the big one that plays us like that. I think she plays as a German mother, right? You know, like when she was ordering food, right? Because they're supposed to be like adults, young adults at that time, I think. It's been a long time, okay? Because it came out when I was like a baby, so to speak. They're still teens, but I think they were like young adults um, when Good Burger came out. I don't remember, though. I don't remember. I don't remember. So please bear with me, right? They would basically be playing a lot of these act or a lot of these lines and whatnot, right? Because the, 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 all of that has aired for many seasons. It was that good. And also, the other cute guy, um, 
the one that um that one that says that's Mond or Burger Ed, right? I always had a crush on him when I when I was younger. Um, I don't remember his name. Okay, he was on there as well, right? And I never knew that it, that it was set up on this. Um, I'm so sorry. Well, for my social anxiety, it's hard to talk about this stuff. So please bear with me, right? It, they had like a long pass, be long pass because they were on set with 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 together, including Amanda. She was so little, okay? Because all that came out in like the mid and late nineties. The Amanda show came out in two thousand and one. So basically, throughout like be before I think or after nine eleven. I think it was after 9 11. It was the 2001. Okay, I was in barely elementary school back then. Okay, so Amanda has won you a lot back then. She was so little, right? And just to play a sound of it, okay? I'm so sorry. I'm sharing all of this. It's it's really difficult because we need to talk about all this, okay? It, it's it's hard to talk about rape and you know because these are really triggering. Um, topics because people do not know that, you know, like we see on set, is not what you would hear of. Similar to how Ellen DeGeneres, for example, would mistreat um, certain celebrities, right? I, I mean, I, I heard some awful stuff that she did. I don't remember though, but I lost total respect for her, right? The one that plays as Dory from Finding Nemo. You know, I still love the movie, but it's not the same because of how the way that she be basically has acted. However, though, I just want to play maybe like a good 20 seconds of an audio, okay? So, hope to Buddha that the, the sound won't be, like, too scrunchy and whatnot. I think it's for the best. That way that y'all would know what has happened between Dan Schneider and Amanda, okay? And just to read this very quick, this is by Dom Lucre. That posted this, it's a, I guess you could say it's like lost footage of Nickelodeon's Dan Snyder in a jacuzzi with an underage Amanda Bynes, along with other dis disturbing footage. Okay, and it says here, Amanda has been recently going viral due to fans being concerned with her health because of her mental illness. I, I, I heard about it because she, I think she was like in rehab or something. She doesn't deserve any of that. And Nickelodeon's sexual abuse will be getting exposed in a documentary that releases today. That uh, because this was posted yesterday, nine twenty six, and it's one fifty three right now on Monday, the eighteenth, so the day after St. Patrick's Day. That is titled "Quiet on Set." Okay, so I'm gonna just tap uh, one, two. Okay, 30 seconds, so to speak. But that's an example, if you can actually hear completely. And this one, read a comment by one bad dude on here. Any parent who thought fame was worth exposing their children to this shit is a soulless monster. I cannot agree more with this. I, I literally cannot agree more with this. Okay, and also there is another one on here as well. Um, I'm also going to play it for like a good maybe 9 to 16 seconds. Dan Schneider is a pedophile and was protected by Nickelodeon for years. One example of so many more like him that lurked in the Hollywood shadows and proud children. Okay, so one, two. Oh, it's just music, so to speak. So what I'm seeing here, okay, I do apologize that y'all can't actually see images, which is part of why that you'd be away. Okay, because I like talking about this. I just... I'm just not sure if people enjoy my long videos. I know how my notifications turn off and whatnot. My mental health is not great. So please respect that. If not, then you need to basically be on another channel. That's all I ask for. I know I'm not like polite like Akira Toriyama, for example. I don't want to compare myself to up. Oh, man. I swear. It's awful that he is no longer with us, right? I, I'm, I'm so sorry. That seems off-putting, right? I'm, I, that's, I just had to bring that up because I just want to this. Oh, no. Want to live like an anonymous life like he did. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm breaking him up. I, I I know that's not appropriate of me doing that. Okay, um, 
I just have a lot on my mind I want to share, okay? I'm seeing one of the images here that Dan, where, Dan, right, is um, hugging Victorious and then hugging Era Grande, okay? And it says here that he was like hugging like a 10 year old girl as well, which is really, really awful. Um, I might need to edit that part out. Okay, my I, I got a little bit overboard. It's just not a great year this year. It's not, okay? I mean, God, so much is going on this year from what happened in Japan at the tsunami and then a Square Game character that, um, the 79-year-old man that got in, like, eight months in jail for, for being mis um, falsely accused of sexually harassing a girl or a woman for hugging her. A, a girl woman, by the way. And then, of course, Akira that basically died. Um, I had a, a breakdown. Or a little bit of a meltdown hearing about it. You know? This had to get out of my system. I'm not kidding. Okay? And then now this. You know? I mean, who? heaven forbid, who knows what's going to come up. I don't want to know. Okay? It's best not to fucking know. Pardon my language. Okay? I just want to be human here. I just... It's, it's awful, you know, to see all this stuff. Like, if I just want to be bored, browsing you do Twitter and then hearing more about allegations for someone or whatnot, it's awful, you know? I mean, oh, hearing about what happened to George Snap found that I'm not sure if he did sexually uh, 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 assault an 18-year-old woman, you know? I don't, I don't fucking care because I don't watch him, but you know what? This is so much that happens this year. You know, this is why, if I could just live, like, how Akira did before he died. Just living, like, a peaceful life with, you know, you know like a, is well, not a wife, but a husband. And, you know, just having people that deeply care about you. Just living a normal, just living a normal life, right? And not just being, you know, this force into this Hollywood type of stuff. You know? That you gotta be famous just to be treated like a fucking human being. Right? That's all there is to it. Okay? Or like Oda, for example. That's why I'm a One Piece fan. And I'm proud of it. Okay? It's just awful to read stuff like this. Because it, it gives me flashbacks of what I've run through. Okay? This is playing this once again. Okay? It does not matter what sex you are. You can still be a victim of molestation, rape, you know, sexual assault, harassment, etc. It does not matter because I said so. Okay? That's, that's how it is. Okay? It does not matter... About that, because consent is a human thing, okay, that we all need. It actually makes sense. And this read also bought this by Drew the, the Gorilla, right? I thought I can actually just play this for 14 seconds. I have to be apologies, you can only hear the sound here. One, two, Drake Bell said he was sexually abused at 15 by Nickelodeon's dialogue coach. Brian Peck, who is what Alexa basically have mentioned in the beginning of the theater, right? That worked on a Drake and Josh TV show. So it's not only Ariel Grande and Amanda Bynes that have run through, I guess you could say rape, right? But also Drake himself. I said Josh. Drake, I can't think right now, okay? It's like 2-2 two, two right now, okay? It's just... Ah! You know, I just want to be human here. And this will premiere on the upcoming, on St. Patrick's Day, which is yesterday, Quiet on Set, that will expose Nickelodeon. And it's supposed to be on the investigation, whatever, it says ID, right? So that's what someone said, um, the ID network, it actually makes sense. It's really, really horrible to read stuff like this. I'm just scrolling through this right now. I'm, I'm like literally doing this live on my audio recording, just reading through this, right? Because I like to be in the moment, right? I just want to just, just give y'all, like, a natural, like, reaction of how I feel when I read stuff like this online. And, um, I don't know what the hell this is. Footage of Kel Mitchell, the actor from Nickelodeon TV show, Keaton and Kel has been going viral over fans being shocked that he's preaching against riches from warlocks. Huh, don't know what that's about. <sighs> Interesting. I'm just reading more of this. And there is an image I've seen here, right? It's supposed to be Dan holding iCarly. I forgot his name or her name, by the way, because I know my nephews and nieces when they're really little will watch this all the time, right? He was holding her tighter, 
It says here, seems like Dan hold her tighter. She's a fighter. Snyder is finally getting what he deserves. I understand it. You know, it's 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 heartbreaking to look at this because I remember growing up watching Good Burger. Okay, literally one of my favorite movies I watched growing up. I'm not kidding. I love that movie. I watched it so many times. Right. I was like, now the emotions are kicking in. I'm getting like a light reaction right now. Okay, and. Also, I think it made to make this separate. I also used to be a fan of the Loud House, but the reason why I stopped watching it, okay? I mean, not to because of Chris Savino. I mean, after what he heard, that's kind of what made me stop stop watching it sooner because of the allegations of how he would sexually harass women at his work for some dumb reason. I don't know why. It's because of how there are fandoms, right? That would draw the law characters because they're supposed to be children, right? You know, even though Lori, she's 18 and all, but still, um, I'm going to explain this. Of, uh, I'll just give you an example. Okay. I want you all to know about this. I even did a, a video of it, but I just don't feel this appropriate time unless Amy are, are like really, really interested to see my reaction of it. Lincoln that would have anal sex with Lucy. Okay. Along with Lisa, one of his younger sisters. And then the worst one I saw, it was a GIF, right? I, I forgot what the hell that stands for. Um, him banging Lily. He basically is having anal sex with Lily. That messed me up looking at that. I mean, why? Why is I even allowed? Okay, why? It makes me embarrassed to know that I grew up at the La House, right? And I even read a comment from that Ren and Stippy man of a father that felt guilty because he shouldn't feel guilty. It's because, you know what? He loves Ren and Stippy like I do. And, like, we would know that, you know what? Even though we're fans of it, we're so disgusted, okay? Or we feel appalled for what the creator has done. It's like... You think about R. Kelly, right? That he basically had like a 14 year old on set on this rapping video that he has sex with. You can like his music, but you wouldn't like him as a human being. You wouldn't like his music, right? You would separate the two. You know, this is why I don't like the celebrity crud. I just want to see people as human beings, but man, it's like people tell, it's like they, they don't want to treat them that way. Like in a parasocial way, like they're gods or something. No. It shouldn't be like that. I apologize that this is like a long talk. If any of you are one to view away, please go ahead. Okay? It's just, this is so much for me to take here. Okay? I'm just saying this. I'm not reading a script. Just so you know. I'm just seeing of all of this on Twitter because it's it's a lot to take. And this cannot be Amanda. I thought I can actually share another one on here. I apologize because just so you know, I I'm just seeing these videos just now. By Drill the Gorilla that posted 16 hours ago. Amanda Bynes from Nickelodeon's Amanda Show in several early 2000s movies. By the way, she was on, um... Dion, you forgot the movie, huh? I did. Or you did, Dion, yeah, but it's, it's... I think it's Big Fat Liar. Yeah. Okay, she was on Big Fat Liar with, um... Frankie Muniz. I had a crush on him growing up, by the way. This, I can share that, right? I, I love that movie. I can actually just share that. Has fans worried about her mental health after her recent video of her claiming that she's planning on starting a nail salon and becoming a manicurist? Oh, I didn't know that's a thing. I'm just going to play, like, just 20 seconds of it. Okay? One, two... Okay, 25 seconds, and my Buddha, she looks so much different than I remember. Like, what happened to her? You know, like, I'm, I'm concerned for her as well. She she looks like a totally different person. It looks like she's like a, like a, like, I'm not sure she put on weight, but like a bigger version. And this is not an offending way or anything, okay, of Madonna, but much kinder. It actually makes sense. She has a heart, okay, like a heart, like, like an outline heart tattoo, God, Amanda, what, what happened to you? What? I'm so sorry. I'm getting a little shit in here. She, I don't know. Like, I'm just, I'm upset. 
I am fucking upset right now. I'm so sorry about this, okay? This is upsetting me because I literally grew up with a client. Okay, now the emotions are kicking in. Okay, it's awful that what they have run through doesn't get talked about. Okay, I just want to like, you know, this is why it's so hard for me to stay quiet. And if you don't like my long videos, please sneak away on my channel and watch like Mr. Beast or Tube or whatever. Okay, I'm so sorry for these YouTube YouTubers. I don't watch them. If you do, that's great. I don't fucking care. Okay, or Denny Kazaz or Cody Call. Watch them, all right, and just snake away. If you know what that means, Phoenix slang, I made this word up, okay? I invented the word. It just means just quickly move away, all right? Just quickly get lost, okay? Uh, it's, a, it's a kind of way of saying it, okay? It really breaks me down because I'm reading these comments on here. By Anon Born, broken, very sad. And by Carl McDonald, shocking that people age and don't look like they did when they were young. And this is a big nothing burger. What the hell that means? It's kind of funny because the only people that look great for their age, right, is Keenan and Kel, okay, and then you got Ariel Grande, and I hope to Buddha that I forgot her name from our Carly is doing okay. It's just that, I don't know, it's just Amanda looks, I don't recognize her anymore. You know, I'm not, I guess it's because of all this trauma that she has run through. You know, she does still look gorgeous, but it does worry me. You know? I don't know. Maybe this is just me. But this seeing all of this, it, it just crushes me of I it felt like I was part of Nickelodeon because I they the studio in, inspired me to do drawings of the characters, right? And doing reactions and such, right? Even though people would demand a reactions and not treat me like a human being. So I can understand how that feels, right? And literally having like a popper YouTuber, I'm glad he's doing great and all. I know he his mental health has been affected. He's not the only one because I'm one of them. Okay, it, I guess and that's why I got upset because he had to have a fan that would harass me. That was part in that community and that get away with basically admitting that he wanted to date like a dirty old character when he was like 20 or something. You know, it's a fictional character, right? It's just the way he basically treated me. Okay, I just want to share my experience that he would send like 80 to 100 photos of like Lynn Laub, right? Like as a grown woman, but like with nudes, tell me that I like it. I did not consent to seeing that. Okay, you kept spamming that on my Gmail. And great, now I'm seeing a Taylor Swift. I don't fucking care about her! Whew, it feels good to get down my system. And my, my right hand is like twitching a little bit. It's stress. Okay, I already have like gray hair right now, like like Lincoln, for example. Maybe that's why he has gray hair because he went through so much damn abuse. Okay, and he did. All right, I, I'm sorry, but man, I I hope to. I don't know why I'm Buddha's belly, I'm Bankos cock. That episode had to be aired. I did not want. I did not like that episode. I, I Mr. Answer talked about it, by the way. I do not like that episode one damn bit. I do not like it. I don't. Okay, and this guy for someone that even had um, an intervention with his family. I'm not even close to my family that much. Just my mother, my two brothers. That's about it, really. I'm not that close to my family. It's hard to talk about this, okay? As someone that has been through molestation and has been raped by many men, has been abused by, I'm going to say this thing once more, Ian Russell, of course, right? And not to mention, well, that that YouTuber that he likes that summer bully me and whatnot. Okay, I had to mention that once more. It takes a toll on you, okay? Like, constantly. That's CPTSD. Complex post-traumatic stress disorder. I had to live like this for the rest of my life. It's not going to go away, especially when I got molested. No, okay? Yeah, maybe you're more of a courageous person, but that's not going to go away, okay? That is not going to go away. Excuse me. I just want to share this for anyone that have went through this. It's not your mistake that you went through this, okay? We all, all of us human beings make mistakes, but man, some just do worse than others, apparently. Okay, I know I made a ton of mistakes, but golly, I just had to share this from my experience of what I have to go through right now. <sighs> so I that I just had to just get this out of my system. Okay, I had to get this out of my system. <sighs> There's just so many. If you look up the hashtag quiet on set, you would see all of this. Okay, you would you would get all the info that you need. I just hope to Buddhist belly that um this um, was 
educating in some sort of way for any of you that don't know about like molestation and sexual harassment and you know rape or I guess you could say statutory rape or whatnot. I wanted to share this because I've run through all those experiences myself. Okay, I really have. All right, especially when I got sexually abused by a 17 year old. Just how to share that, okay? Which I'm I'm really embarrassed of. All right, literally. Okay, I just wanted to just get that on my system. I'm trying to find like one more that I want to share on here because I'm like multitasking right now. Okay. And I just want to read this by James Rodriguez by Bukia 8992. Boy or oh boy, this is going to be rough. As a 90s kid, my childhood is going to be destroyed. I can already tell. And only a few minutes in, and already Dan Snyder is close to me the fuck out. I don't need to censor that, but I don't want to fucking sense it. Okay, I don't. Literally. But other than that, Dan Schneider needs to roll up for all the damages that he has done. I mean, being a pedophile, and he only got six years in prison. That's it? Should be life, if you actually ask me. And then by J. Crayonite, shout out to Brian's mom for advocating for his son. I'm not sure who Brian is. And not going with the floor like the rest of the parents when things didn't feel right. You know, you could just read all of this. I just wanted to share for anyone that may be disturbed of all of this. And also, believe it or not, and Evangelion is trending right now, which is pretty cool. But, um, you know, it, it's it's awful to see all this. It really is. I, I just want to keep talking because I know there's something that I wanted to, to say that I don't I don't, I want to forget when I cut this off. Okay? I just thought I can actually just, just get this out of my system. <sighs> So let me read one more by Scuba Gooding Jr. at Sylvia Mefofi. So let me get this straight. Dan Snyder violated all these kids and people know he did. He's not in jail or facing any criminal charges. Hashtag quiet on set. And it's like a what? You know, like a picture of like a white girl with like long, you know, gorgeous hair that's wearing like a black top and wearing like, um, baby blue jeans with earrings and you know that looks like she may have like hey hazel eyes so she look in the right side and there's like a red car in the background right outside somewhere probably like on socal you know yeah my, my reaction exactly okay i just thought can actually just get this out of my system but for anyone that has been viewing all the way through please get yourself a pat on the back if i can actually hug you through the you know do the the MacBook screen uh, at least in a you know if you can being hooked okay I definitely I I thank you more than enough for that okay you know I'm gonna read one more as a bonus this is by it's Malcolm YT two pedophiles in four months being arrested and they were both under Dan Snyder Dan Snyder blamed Nickelodeon and the executives when it comes to the skits and shit. Saying parents were okay with it, but as we see in this, that's not true. And I can see why. And then Drake Bell, because there's 1,265 posts right now, is also trending. It, it's, it's, it's hard to believe that, you know, that all of this is coming out at one setting. It's, it's crazy. So, other than that, I wanted just to share this once more because as someone that basically grew up with so many Nickelodeon shows, okay, that had been noticed by Nickelodeon himself, okay, that been inspired to do the house drawings, and next thing you know, having, like, a large YouTuber, um, a YouTuber's fan that would sexually harass me and bring all that stuff up, which basically really affected me mentally, yet spiritually, okay, I just need to express how I feel, honestly. You know what? I'm gonna read one more. Forget about it. By Gabriella, okay? In light of the whole Dan Schneider doc coming out, I want everyone to remember that we can feel compassion and empathy for the abuse <clears throat> Drake Bell suffered as a child, while still uh, understand that he maybe isn't the best person as an adult. You know, even though he isn't. I might as well, uh, I was the 469 liker on that. Um, no one deserves to be victimized. I agree. And I've been victimized by many people. You know, I want to share that. And someone says here that Jake was a charge of abuse. 
So, I don't know, okay? Everyone, I mean, Twitter isn't really a great place. It isn't. Because so many different opinions, it's hard to tell, like, what you can actually believe in. Even though I know what he has went through, it needs to be heard. Because he doesn't deserve any of that. So, it's awful. Ugh. But, thank you all so much for, for hearing out what I have to say. Okay, my apologies for, for cutting off. I know I've been rambling for almost an hour, which is hard to believe. But I just want to say, um, because I know I'm doing my best actually hanging in there, you know, with my murder, my border and I. It's just great to actually talk about topics like this because I like storytelling. I'm not sure if, like, half of you may be interested in all. Uh, excuse me, this burp. I just wanted to just, just get this on my system because it probably would help me. Uh, excuse me, I did burp again, um, tonight. Okay? Um... And also, I'm probably going to eat, like, my, my pack of cherry poppers. You know what? I hate asking for support or help. If, how, what am I, like, even having donations of, like, a one, two dollar bill in the mail? Actually, I wouldn't mind a two dollar bill. Five dollar max, so to speak, right? I know that I hate, like, asking. But if anyone wants the same, like, gifts or something for me to talk about this stuff, or even, like, a kind letter, right? As long as not, I don't think who it is, by that Vietnamese freak! That, I guess he, it's hard to believe, uh, as an adult, I could still be groomed, which he did, because he did send me, like, a dildo that's not clean and all, okay? I just be aware, because I would know if if it's him, because of the address. My, um, I'll put in the description, okay? Um, I'm just gonna just say it out loud for anyone that doesn't read the description, or if they will forget. It is, Daniel, yeah, you don't remember what it was, huh? Ugh. You don't, unfortunately. That's her address. Um, it's, it, well, it's my, oh god, I hate bringing this up. Okay, it's, um, well, it's supposed to be Dion Garth, but my mother's name is Benita, that actually helps. And the P.O. Box is 121, and it says, um, okay, as long as it's never address, I hope to, but I'm doing it right. Glendale, Arizona, 85311. So that's all I'm giving, okay? I'm not giving out, like, our address or anything. I'm keeping that private. But, um, I, I just, I'm just appalled. And I, I, I just had to release my feelings out of that. You know, the foot fetish thing, and then of Dan and other things he has done to the creator of Serena Stimpy that basically did, I don't know, child porn. And then Chris Savino that was sexually harassed his co-workers inside the studio. It makes me kind of concerned of Nickelodeon sometimes. You know, that's why I don't watch Nickelodeon that much. It actually makes sense. You know? Um, I just, I just I had to just, just get this out of my system. But other than that, I hope to boot a spelling that Amanda Bynes, she, she, I mean, she still looks gorgeous, but with, you know, her lack of mental health and you know, being out of rehab from what I've heard, you know, because I, I'm, I'm believing that she's struggling with depression, is doing well, including with um, Drake Bell that is coming out of how he got sexually assaulted when he was 15 by whatever the fuck his name is. I, I, I'm so upset. I don't want to think about his name, you know, of the, the comedy sitcom Drake and Josh. And... You know, for Era Grande, no, she was on. She was on a Carly, right? I hope I got that correct. Okay, and also, of course, the, the main character, our Carly herself, right? So I just had to get that out of my system. And also for Alexa, that was from Zoe One Hundred One, which I'm not watched. I hope the Buddha that Dance Center didn't do anything at Victorious, which is another Nickelodeon, um, you know, teen sitcom. Um, for, for you know, for her reaching out on these damn devilish men. And also, I'm just watching Archer in the background. They're playing, like, the first season again. We all gotta do what we all gotta do. You wouldn't hate me for it? Oh, God, no. But just do reverse cowgirl, because that carpet is seriously heinous. <laughs> I love Ray. He's adorable. Okay. Shining this off. And it's 2-3 right now. Good night.